Hey YouTube, I'm Udoka. It is getting really late. I wanted to talk about Brittany Dawn because this is kind of intriguing. It's kind of interesting. But first, we're going to do my intro. We're going to do this little intro right here. This little ditty. Yes, yes, yes. So welcome to my channel. I talk about my life, my mental health, and whatever is on my mind. So as you can see, I'm always experimenting with the looks, the content, the editing style, or lack of editing. All of which means if you're going to subscribe, subscribe for the vibe. Please like the video if you actually like it. Okay, I'll remind you again at the end, and I have a way to check that you watch till the end. But Brittany Dunn's very interesting. I mean, there's a couple of things I wanna I wanna touch on. First of all, I'm peeping that these girls are not modest anymore. Um, Brittany Dunn, in case you don't know, her new online persona and career is to be that Christian girl. So I subscribed to Brittany Dawn years ago, back when she was doing her Starbucks videos. I subscribed to her because I wanted to be that girl. I wanted to be that girl. And it felt like it wasn't possible for me to be that girl. So I lived vicariously through that girl's and Brittany Dawn was that girl to me. Um, now Brittany Dawn is trying to be that girl for Christianity and she made this little clip 34 weeks ago talking about, I used to show my legs, my chest, my belly, and now I found God. I found my worth in Jesus. I cover up. She, okay. See how she showed herself covered up everything. And then for a little bit, she was covered. She was covered up. She made sure she's always covered up, covered up. Cover it up, cover it up, like cover it up, girl. Like cover it, cover it, cover it up, girl. Cover it. I don't know what that was. But then you see, you start to slowly see. You start to slowly see a little chicka pow. Um, you know, she's trying to say, no, this is modest. No, it went from covered up. It's modest to show a little leg. It's modest. Then it went to, you know, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more every day. Just a little bit more until, until, until the big day. The big day where chicka pow, titties out. Ooh, baby. We about to be free free the nips in here <laughs> okay like and you'll see that um she shows she show she's showing off more i don't want to say showing off i don't actually think women need to be modest it's not showing off. It's being regular. It's living like regular life. <laughs> but I'm just noticing that um, these performative aspects of American Christianity become very inconvenient. And these Christian that girls drop it. Even, what's that? Girl Defined? Yeah, even Girl Defined. They're now talking about, we don't want to talk about modesty anymore. Like, they made a whole video about it. And these are the most, these are the most, like, these girls are really pushing American evangelical Christianity. I make that distinction because there are rules that, that this type of Christianity has that's, like, irrelevant. Like, I remember when I was in college, um, yoga pants were, like, all the rage. Girls wearing yoga pants. We would wear, like, a shirt, a big shirt, and yoga pants and sandals. And I thought nothing of it. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. And, like, I was raised Catholic. So I would always hang out at the Catholic Center, and we, we wear that. Like, 
is fine, right? Then I'm hanging out with these other Christians and it's not fine. And they're talking about, oh, did you see that article about why Christians shouldn't wear yoga pants? I'm like, excuse me? (laughs) I was like, why Christians shouldn't wear yoga pants? Yeah, actually, it's like not, it's it's kind of sinful to wear yoga pants. I'm like, let me, let me read this article. Article talking about, oh, modesty and actually yoga is a demonic, like it went, girl, when I tell you how it veered, how that article veered left, I'm like, shit. Okay, then let's then I won't call it yoga pants. I will call them workout pants. Like the the fuck? Nah, I will be damned if you really finna sit here with a straight face tell me I can't wear yoga pants because they're referred to as yoga pants and you feel that yoga is that of the devil. Get the if you don't get the hell out of my place of peace. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I'm just noticing this is a, this is an interesting trend. I would love your thoughts on it. Secondly, Brittany's dog passed in a very interesting way. She's showing a pattern here because she also had a horse. I don't know if the horse is alive. I highly doubt it's alive, but she used to have a horse that she kept at some horse place here in Dallas and girl, I only know about it because I saw the tea on Yelp. Like she posted this publicly on Yelp. She tried to give them like a one-star review talking about my horse got sick in in these people's care. And the owner was like, oh, that's because you didn't pay your bill for six months. So we weren't able to afford the medication. We tried several times to contact you in several different ways. You refused to come. I was like, girl, like, why don't you take care of your animals? Now she's here crying. I would be crying too, but I'm confused. I'm a little confused. I could hear it, and I know that's when the gunshot went off, and poor Jordan had to do that for Brody. So that. Why would you do that? So this thing is, she left it. They went to Lowe's. They left the dogs out in a pla- in a place that's not fenced in. Why do? You, why would you do that? listen also you know you see what I look like you see what I am and if you read my description you know my actual ethnicity not not just my race but my actual ethnic what I am so you know maybe there's some cultural things I still don't know you know I mean I have been in the United States for many years I've been in Texas for many years many many years I'm a Texan, but I still learn new cultural things about Southerners every day. I learn new things about white Southerners every day. You know what I'm saying? Not every day. You know, maybe like once a month I learn something new. You know what I mean? So I'm wondering if this maybe it's just a cultural thing. I do I just never thought you would ever leave your dogs unattended in an area that's not fenced. And she says she did it because they never ran away. They never ran to the road. I mean, she said one dog would go exploring. I guess exploring is fine. I don't know if my dog is going to wander off my lawn. That's an issue because... That means my dog is pooping in other people's yards and I'm not there to clean it up. That means like, who knows what's going on? That sounds weird to me. I would love to know in the comments, like, is that not weird? Like, is this something people will normally do? Then she's talking about, she saw the dog. He got hit really bad. There's something that we could do was still breathing. I'm thinking, okay, we will call the emergency animal protection, whatever, and see what they can do. But no, then she's talking about pop, pop in the streets, like literally in the streets. And people, people who are trying to defend her are talking about, 
We do this all the time in rural parts of the country. This is Fort Worth suburbs. If you don't know, Fort Worth is... Fort Worth is a city that's like 45 minutes away from Dallas. We all know Dallas, Texas, right? That's a metro... It's a whole ass metroplex. There's a city and then there's these other cities and suburbs surrounding it. And it's a whole... We just call ourselves Dallas. And then there's Fort Worth, which we include Fort Worth because it's a city and there are other important cities between Dallas and Fort Worth that we just lump them all together because people are coming from Fort Worth to these middle cities and people are coming from Dallas to the middle cities and we just lump it all together. And Fort Worth it's actually really nice. Like if you're in Dallas, if you want to move to Dallas area, but you want a house that's on the cheap, like a really nice house that's cheaper than what you can get in Dallas area, go to Fort Worth. It's the same thing. Yeah, there are more, there are places that are rural-esque in Fort Worth. That's how it is in all of the suburb type cities in Dallas. Um, but the thing is, she doesn't live in a rural part. She lives in a regular ass suburb. She lives in a regular ass cul-de-sac. There's your neighbor's house. There's your house. She lives in one of them regular places. And I just never in my life, I just never in my life heard gunshots in a suburban neighborhood like that. Like you just don't, you just, you don't hear it. So people in the, in her comments are talking about, oh, we do it all the time. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't even do that with roadkill. We don't even do that with roadkill. We don't do that. No, nobody bring out their gun pop pop. You don't. Mm. It's just really weird. It's just weird. It doesn't make sense to me. But the fact that she said that she was inside and she heard them revving up the car. So I knew what they were about to do. That tells me this is something y'all do. Like this is, this is some, this is, this is a code. This is a code. Like y'all know to do this. How do you know? How do you know that? That's why I'm like, is this a cultural thing? And I would love to, I would, I would love to learn in the comments. Cause she knew. So that means there's a code for this. That's weird. Now I don't go hunting. I don't rough it in the woods, you know, nothing like that. I I would love to learn how to use a pop out. I would love to learn. Um, you know, it's kind of scary, but I think since we live in the freaking United States of America and is people out here with them, it would behoove us all to know how to utilize them and all that all that jazz. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just I'm just trying to say I'm not out here like remove all the pow pows. I'm not out here like that. I just know it just doesn't really add up. You left your dogs out. One of the dogs got hit, it was still breathing, but you decide to put it out of its misery yourself with a pow pow. It just doesn't it doesn't gel for me. It doesn't gel. It's not gelling. And I would, I would love, I would love your thoughts. So this lipstick is probably smeared all over my face. So now it's like, what is up with this pattern? Why don't you take care of your animals properly? It's this, cause it's not a normal thing. Like when people's animals get hit by cars, it's like, oh, I left the door open. Oh no. You know, it's like, oh, it's how I let go of the leash. Oh, no. It's like, oh, I was taking them from inside the house to the car and they just jumped out. Oh, my God. Like, you know, it's like some kind of accident. It's accident. It's like, oh, I, I did a mistake that put my animal in the position to be running in the street and they got hit. This is the first time... I'm hearing somebody talking about this is something I routinely do, so it wasn't even a mistake on my part. 
I would I do it intentionally uh, all the time and I would do it again. This is my first time hearing a story like that. I just need to understand. Why didn't you pay your horse bills? Why'd you let that horse go? Why don't you want to pay for the vet? Like, I know emergency costs money. It costs like $300. But y'all have money. Look at your car. Look at your hair that you're maintaining. Bleach blonde. You don't miss a, girl, you don't miss a beat with this hair or that tan. You don't miss a beat. You don't miss a beat, girl, or your nails. You don't miss a beat with the hair, the tan, or the nails. You taking Starbucks in the regular. You just got this new house. You eating this uh, pseudo-vegan diet, organic, all this, this, and that, and the other. Y'all was able to pay for this wedding and the honeymoon. Y'all immediately went to the honeymoon. Y'all didn't even have no, oh, okay, we need to wait a month or whatever, get our monies up, period. Y'all immediate. Y'all are okay financially. You're okay enough financially that you can afford... The $350 it will take to transport your dog to the emergency vet clinic and get the dog in there to see what they can do. To see if there's hope for your dog that you obviously love, that you obviously have a connection with. So why wouldn't you do that? Because I know if it were me, if you push me inside the house and I hear the car revving, I'm thinking, oh, we're going to the emergency. And then I hear a pop, pop. Oh, 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 I'm about somebody out because I did not give consent for you to pop, chop my dog. No, it just don't, it just don't add up to me. It just don't. It, it's a lot of things that. Britney do that don't add up for me like why didn't you give full refunds they're not you know when when people was asking for refunds for your your shoddy program why didn't you get full refunds uh why did you delete your apology um why did why were you dating the, the, girl there was a time she was dating these these dusties girl she was dating some dusties to the max and it's like girl why let this man live on your couch what, like, there's a lot of, <laughs> mm. it's just a lot of things that she do that don't make sense, um, and don't add up entirely, and I find it very interesting, and so I remain subscribed. I mean, it's just, this is a different life. <laughs> it's a different life. Uh, uh, I love vlogs. There's something about just watching how somebody else lives that makes my heart go pitter patter. I would love to one day also be a vlogger. It requires editing and I don't like that. Maybe one day I will be able to hire someone who edits for me. But in the meantime, this is the type of videos you get. And, um... I just find her way of living so interesting because she, she's living life in a way that I never would based on philosophies and premises that I do not have. But also she's, pro she's providing an aesthetic that I vibe with at the same time. So it's like, like what more can I ask for? Somebody who is completely different than me, <clears throat> but still has some some style that I appreciate it's just so intriguing it's just so intriguing to to learn um if you're new to Brittany Dawn and you never heard of her and you want to get into her lore get into her lore it's not too big it's not like Amberlynn Reed you know it's not like the these people who've been on the platform for a long time did a lot of stuff. There are some pretty poignant things about Brittany Dawn, and there's a lot of summary videos out there. Um, it's just an, it's just very intriguing. I mean, her now her husband, girl, now her her husband has his own backstory. That's like, girl, it makes sense. But anyway, I wanted to share my two cents as someone who doesn't understand the cultural significance of leaving your dog out. Let me know in the let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, 
make sure you like it. We are trying to grow this channel to 10,000 subscribers and build parasocial relationships with each other. So if you leave the dog paw print emoji in the comments, that's how we know that you part of the gang, gang, gang. Because you watch to the end. Thanks so much for, um, I probably will schedule this to upload on Sunday. So I hope you enjoyed, um, chilling and vibing with me. Cause if you caught the vibe, you're gonna subscribe until next time. Much love, much luck. Peace out.